I've been liaising with uh, over the last four months, maybe. And um, this is exciting at the same time scary because we do not know how this is going to go. I do not mean reference our answers, but the process on how to actually ask a question and get an answer. And you know there's people on the internet watching us now thinking, it's easy. Please come up. So anyway, I'm going to introduce you to Chris and then uh, the three guys here. And I don't think we've got your name. Oh, we've got Tom. I know you're going to introduce him, but we've got Luke, may the force be with you, and we have George <laughs> Lucas. So, okay, Chris is going to introduce. Right. So, yeah, thanks very much, uh, Gary. Just to provide a little bit of context before we kick things off. I met some of you in the break, but um, my name is Chris Richardson. I'm a journalist based at Imperial College down in London. I'm the editor-in-chief at a quarterly science publication there, and initially got in touch with Gary um, about an article I was putting together about truth and how observations become theories, become facts, and that entire process, and you know, the scientific method, and so on and so forth. And after a few initial conversations, it became apparent that rather than just coming here to put that article together, it might be quite useful if I tapped into the network of scientists at Imperial College to find some physicists from mainstream science who might be willing to come and speak today and provide an alternative viewpoint to the types of things that you've been hearing about throughout this weekend. So, as a journalist, I'm interested in challenging conventional wisdom. As someone with a scientific background, I believe strongly in the power of empirical data and also testing hypotheses and you know, the rigorous scientific method that we have, although it does have some limitations. That said, as a person, I think there are many things hidden in plain sight um, that aren't quite as they seem. So, a government, I think that's a topic that's come up quite a lot this weekend. A government I see as a large gang with a monopoly of force. Borders are arbitrary lines that are drawn in the sand, and money only has as much power as we're willing to give it. All of that in mind, um, I'm still not of the opinion that the Earth is flat. However, I think one of the greatest values we can have as individuals is um, the ability to change our minds in the face of new evidence. So, with that in mind, I think we all agreed as a team, we just want to have a nice, friendly discussion this afternoon <coughs> and bounce around some ideas and see if we can change some minds either way. So, uh, I hope you all enjoy the next hour and a half or so. Thank you, Chris. Um, what we're going to do is the levels are going to be set uh, throughout the actual um, the debate because we've got three mics on at the same time, it's very hard for the technical team. And can I just mention that the technical team have had a horrendous job to get this sorted over the whole three days and they've put in a lot of effort. I don't know if you've seen their hardware, but it's, it's actually quite incredible. So anyway, I'm going to introduce um, Tom for you, but one thing I would say, the guys that I gave, that gave the eggs to, can you just make sure that they're not looking when you throw them? So, you know, I'm going to hand you over to Tom. Hi, hi everyone. My name's Tom. Uh, please don't be eyes, Williams. Uh, for those throwing the eggs later. Um, and I feel a little bit too short for this microphone. Um, but good. Yeah. It's good. <laughs> so, so yeah, thanks, thanks for having me along this afternoon. Um, and I hope, I hope that you'll enjoy, enjoy the next hour and a half. I hope we'll, we can provide some kind of challenging viewpoints, and you can provide some challenging viewpoints to us. So, uh, to to introduce myself, my name is Tom Williams. I'm a second year PhD student now uh, down in Cardiff University. And the Earth is a little bit close to me. I'm actually an extragalactic astronomer. So I've been looking at um, galaxies beyond our own Milky Way and modelling the light that goes through them and how that interacts with other parts of the galaxy. Uh, so the thing, the, the galaxy I'm working on is about uh, 800 kiloparsecs away. So I'm looking at scales of kind of unfathomable to humans, I think, but actually quite quite nearby for astronomy. Uh, so I've, I've had the kind of honour, the privilege of um, being uh, sent off to Hawaii twice now in the last year to go observing. So um, the first time I went in, um, I, was, I was actually there at Christmas. I landed on Christmas Day. Uh, the second time was last September. And um, one, one thing I've heard quite a lot while I've been here today